What's up my friend, welcome back to this Kajabi community mini series. So today we're gonna to take a look at the back end of this community product. We're gonna go into the settings and I'll show you some of the best practices we can use to really set up our community in the best way. And then in the following videos, we'll go into the individual features and take a look at them a little bit more. So here in the community, when you log into your view, um, you have a little gear icon right here on your thumbnail. So you can click into that, which naturally leads you to the settings. So you have a couple of things you can look at. You have stats, which tells you how many new members you have in the last seven days of last month, last six months, all time, etc. Um, the number of messages sent, the number of meetups, so the number of times people have collected together to meet up together to do calls, and then the number of challenge submissions. So uh, just good to know like how members are interacting in general and what you can do to improve, obviously. Then we have the details, which include the URL name. So you have your regular domain, like ChristopherCU.com is my domain on Kajabi, slash forward slash, and then what URL you want it to be. This is the URL for my community here. You can also have social links and you can have a community guideline as well, which I have as well, which I treat as an announcement, if you will. So I, I say, welcome to Chris's Composite community. I'm really glad you're here and I'm really excited for your success and growth. And then I have a short little description just to help them get the best out of the community. So you'll only get as much out of this community as you put into it. Be courteous, respectful and encouraging at all times. Um, you know, share in the dedicated topic areas or circles if you have specific questions. And this is a community dedicated to music only. Please do not bring any controversial topics into the group, right? So pretty standard housekeeping stuff. Then we have email notifications, which are mainly for you, right? If, if some activity happens, then you can be sent emails so you can um, customize that as well. Then in terms of the content itself, you can customize this as well. So I allow direct messages to the founder. So uh, in this case, the founder is myself. So I'm allowing people to contact me directly. The live room is always open to join. So people can join whenever they want. If they want to talk amongst themselves without me being there, they can certainly do that. Member directories are visible, show the community leader. This is always good for a little incentive for people to be more active um, and so on. And then customize reaction terminology. So you have all these different emojis that they can react with. I really like this. Um, instead of inspired, you know what? I, I'm just gonna change this to like. Uh, and then love, haha, wow, sad, angry. Those are the other standard ones. I'm gonna click save here. Cool. Then we have the individual features. So we have the challenges, which we can create new challenges. We have meetups, which again, are where people can meet. Circles are the individual topic groups and you can create them or delete them as you need. So if you want to create a new circle, you can certainly do that. Create the title, description of the circle. Is it going to be uh, for your standard access group or do you have another one you can choose from? Is it a feed or is it a, uh, a regular chat? Um, so is it going to be like a, a, an area where people can post as many comments as they want or is it going to be more of like a back and forth? For mine, all my circles, they're all feeds. And then is it going to be public or private? So. In this case, we're not going to set up a new circle just yet. And if I want to delete one, I can just delete the circle there. Um, or you could always make it private, right? So if you don't want people to see it, but you still want to keep the circle, then you can just go into it and then make it private if you don't want it to show up publicly. And then the announcements here, I've made an announcement. So welcome to the brand new community platform. All the interaction will happen here. You can collaborate, exchange ideas, and even DM each other. One thing, if you want to access this community on your mobile, download the Kajabi and Kajabi Communities app and enter your login info there. So I'm just letting them know that they can access this community outside of their desktop on their phones. And then finally, we have the navigation menu, which is the, the four different tabs that we saw at the top and the front end. And I, this is the way I've ordered it. So you can drag and drop, um, but I like to have the start here at the very first uh, spot because then they know exactly where to begin. So I've start here, which links, uh, links to my custom page, my latest post, which is the feed, then the meetups and the challenges, which they can take advantage of every single month. And that is the back end, super, super simple, but I just liked how it allows you to customize features and set up whatever you want in the back end. Really, really uh, flexible in that regard. And it's just a lot of fun. So to be completely honest, I don't visit this backend that much because most of the interaction I do with my members is in the front end, like responding to comments, uh, supporting them, encouraging them, answering questions. So that's not stuff I really need to do here, but just knowing the option is there to be able to tweak whatever I want, um, the presentation of it, the way, uh, the way I create new circles, the new meetups and challenges, I can do that all in the backend here, but you can also do it in the front end too. So you have that flexibility there and it's really, really cool, but you can see how streamlined everything is. 
I think that's one of the biggest things I enjoy particularly about this community. So if you're interested in trying out Kajabi for yourself, um, I have an affiliate link down below that gives you an extended 30 day free trial rather than the 14 day free trial they give you on their website. So if you want to take advantage of that, you can use my link below ChristopherCU.com slash Kajabi. And I'll also give you two bonus mini courses as a thank you, Kajabi in 30 days and content marketing for creatives, both of which are super valuable and will help you get started with your online business and start making money on the platform very quickly. And you'll get those totally free when you become a paying member of Kajabi. And if you want to download my free guide, Three Weapons to a Successful Online Business. I'd love to give that to you as well, just to give you that foundation to set up your business in the correct way and just give it those legs on which you can build further and further and then scale the business. So feel free to grab that. It's totally free as well. And you can use that in your in the description box as well. Okay, I'll catch you in the next part of the this mini series. We'll talk about the individual features a bit more and I'll see you there. Take care.